In this video, we're going to unbox and play with the Caddx Peanut and show why it's better for FPV than the Insta360 Go 2, even though it's basically the same camera. Let's get into it. This is the Caddx Peanut. It's a partnership between Caddx and Insta360, and I wanted to kind of show you what comes in the box before we get it built up on a drone. First and foremost, the camera. Camera looks just like the previous Insta360 Go, but in this version, we've got an actual physical hardware switch here, a little bit more meat to the body, and a little bit kind of these grooves in the back to help place the magnets for the different accessories. You've got an ND16 and an ND8 that come in the box. Next up, you've got the mount. It's kind of a squishy little plasticky mount that it comes with and the camera seats in here. And then as this tightens down, it holds onto the camera. And this mount allows you to be able to access both the start stop record button as well as see the light out of the camera so you know when it is and isn't recording. And then obviously the lens fits through perfectly so that it's not showing any of the case. Then there's a few key wires that it comes with that are here. That's gonna be used in combination with this connector, which is just a magnet connector that sits on the back and powers the camera. But you'll notice that there's a three pin connection on the back, one with TX, ground, and five volt. It allows you to be able to control stop, start, record, on the camera when it's plugged into your drone, as well as charge the camera while the drone is powered on. Then you've got your standard USB connection. You have a USB-C port here, it plugs into the back, and now you can plug the camera straight into a computer to be able to pull footage off of it and make file transfers and all that stuff. You got the camera, you've got the USB-C, you've got the power cable, and then you've got some wires, a mount, two ND filters, nothing to it. So this is the original Insta360 Go 2. You can see that it obviously comes with this big case as well as the camera. And just kind of setting the cameras next to each other, you can see that eh, the, the Caddx version is a little bit bigger, but that's because it's kind of got armor and then it's got this default button. So like where this one, the whole front face was a button. This one, now there's just that dedicated button, which is actually makes it a lot nicer for working with on a drone. And then on the back, obviously it's got these grooves that make this cable a lot easier to seat, where this one would be kind of sliding around on here. Um, the whole point of that groove is to make sure that this seats well. And obviously this seats while it's in the mount so that you can run this back into your drone and power it as well as start, stop, record. Now, it does not look like the battery on this is removable, or at least not easily removable, so you can't just power the camera off of this connector. You do need to have the full battery on board plus that. So that's something that would be interesting to test really quick while we're here is to see what the weight difference is. So we've got the original Insta360 Go 2, which just comes in at 27 grams, and the new version, 27.5, so it's the same weight. I mean, within a tenth of a gram, so it's not 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 too significant. So for some reason, I decided that it would be better to come outside and film in the rain than to stay inside in my nice, uh, comfortable, warm, not raining lab. But that's okay. We're we're having a good time, I guess. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about the point of the Insta360 slash Caddx Peanut. And the goal is to kind of take basically the, the platform of the Insta360 Go to and make it into something that is very specifically made for FPV, right? This was kind of like a lifestyle camera, right? You're supposed to put it on the little chest mount and record your day, use it with the little tripod to make a vlog. You know, all of that stuff is really, really cool, but it's not necessarily important for FPV people maybe maybe for content creators maybe for FPV content creators but for people that just want to get FPV footage out of this camera it's not really that necessary to have all of the extra features so if you could just get the camera but make it a little bit more durable and make it capable of kind of interacting with the drone a little bit that's kind of the point of the peanut there's metal on this table and these are sticking to it <laughs> So to that end, the Caddx FPV Peanut is, I think, $60 cheaper than the actual Go 2. Go 2 is gonna come in at $300 with the case and everything, but the Caddx Peanut is gonna save you that 60 bucks and come in at somewhere around $240. But on top of that, they're gonna add in some features like the specialized case for mounting on drones, as well as the, the specific cables to be able to help control the 
camera through the drone. And they actually send a few of these little cables that you can wire into a five volt UART and ground and then there's a connector on the back of this cable, which is the expensive part of the cable that connects to the actual camera. So you can just plug it into each drone. So you actually get three of this connector with the cables wired onto it. So you can actually have this set up on a bunch of different drones without having to buy anything extra. So the camera itself uses the same Insta360 Studio software that the Insta360 Go 2 uses. So I can connect it directly to my phone through the camera and be able to you know make all of the edits that i want on the phone or i can use the usb-c connector connect it to the back and put it into the computer and just transfer the file straight there and use the insta360 studio in the same way that i would use the usb-c connection off of this and put it straight into the computer it's pretty disappointing to me that this doesn't have a removable battery i think there would have been a lot of opportunity to be able to remove the battery from this and put it on a tiny whoop sized drone like a tiny whoop or a nano hawk or a tiny hawk something like that where you could carry this hd camera without the weight of the battery maybe strip down a little bit and then just use the cable like this to power it off of the drone However, this actually comes in one gram heavier than the actual Insta360 Go 2 um, and is a little bit bigger actually, which the goal for that is to obviously make it a little bit more durable, a little bit stronger, but I don't know that that actually, you know, I feel like there's a missed opportunity there. Maybe there's a future version in which the battery is removable for this, or you could just power it directly off of that five volt connection. That being said, you don't have to have this cable in order to use this camera, right? If you were just interested in being able to use a tiny little HD camera like this Cadex Peanut, you don't need to connected to the drone. You don't need to power it off the drone. It's fully independent. You can just use the button like you would normally and boom, now it's recording. So it's, there's some give and take. They just kind of basically added some extra features to make it more capable for FPV. Another big upside about using the Cadex Peanut combined with the cable that it comes with is that this can now run for 30 minutes straight. So historically the Insta360 Go 2 would only run for 10, 15 minutes before the internal battery without the charge case would die. But because this is receiving power off of the flight controller or the little five volt uh, back that it comes with you have the ability to run for a recording of up to 30 minutes which is I mean not an insane time but long enough for most long-range flights that you would ever do with a FPV drone so the fact that you can run this for longer and be able to power it off of the drone is extremely powerful beyond the additional record time you might not even necessarily record your whole flight. You could just start the recording when you get to the top of the mountain that you're going to dive or when you're waiting on the flight line for your race to start, you can just click it right before the time starts and you're gonna know that this uses this connection here to start and stop recording from your controller. It's pretty awesome. Another benefit that the Peanut has over the Go 2 is that it actually does come with an ND8 and an ND16 filter. So in the box, you get those two filters without having to buy something extra and it just works by default. Another nice benefit that this has over the Insta360 Go 2 for FPV is that it has this button instead of having the whole face be a button. So like on this, like this whole face is a clicky buttony thing, but on the Cadex Peanut, there's an actual physical button, which is just a nicety for the FPV version over the lifestyle version. And one final thought that I've enjoyed in the process of filming this video is that using this little USB-C connector instead of the case has been a lot easier to get files straight off of this camera onto the computer. I think a lot of people actually use the app to do that, but I personally want to transfer it straight from this camera straight to the computer. And sometimes the case gives me a little bit of trouble if the case is low on power um, or it's not wanting to connect for whatever reason, it will take a long time to get it connected to the computer. This has been a much simpler application for me to just put this USB connector on the back of the camera and plug it straight into the computer and it pops up like an SD card would right away. So with all that said, let's get this mounted up on a drone and see how it looks in the air. For my purposes, what I'm going to do is wire it into the Flywoo Goku 4 and I'm going to take this adapter here with the back for powering 5 volts and wire it into the uh, UART and 5 volt adapters here so that the cable will come out of the Flywoo and be able to attach to the camera at the back like this, kind of underneath the battery. So my goal is to then just mount everything up on this little 3D printed piece on the camera and be able to fly it around like that.
I've done a number of different videos on the Insta360 Go 2, of which shares the exact same sensor as this, the Caddx Peanut, in the past. So if you want to see like my opinions on the color and the video and the stabilization and all of that stuff that comes out of the Insta360 suite of products, I'll leave a link in the description to all of the other videos that I've done with this thing. So I'm not really addressing it too much in this video. I really like it. Uh, in this particular shot, I think the vivid color was on, which I don't think looks all that great. It's a little bit contrasty for my tastes, but I just wanted to let that be a note that if you want to learn more about what I think about this thing, I'm leaving a bunch of links to videos in the description below. So working with the Caddx Peanut is exactly the same as working with the Insta360 Go 2. You just take your app, boot up, connect to the camera. Uh, this camera is the last camera that I connected to, so it automatically jumps in and starts connecting to it right away. If it's not, it'll show up in the list of cameras that you can connect to, and when you connect it for the first time, all you have to do is push the button to acknowledge that it's the camera that you're trying to connect to. It's pretty obvious when all that happens, but eventually it'll connect via Wi-Fi, and then you get a list of all the files that are recorded on this. So earlier, I took a flight with the camera. We can go over to camera, and scroll down to this video here where it says 312 seconds pro mode. Sorry about those ducks in the background, holy cow. And then inside this view, you can go ahead and scroll through, do playback, all that stuff. And so this is all playing straight off of the actual Caddx Live, which is pretty cool. And then when you're ready, you can do, I like to trim the video so that I don't have to download as much from the camera to my phone. It gives you the ability to cut away all of the fluff like when you're waiting to take off. But there shouldn't be a lot of that when you have the ability to start and stop the recording with your controller. So you can trim, you can then change the, the angle. So, you know, you have wide action, linear and narrow. Um, so typically for me with the Insta360 Go 2, I would run it in linear or action view. Action kind of looks a little bit like super view where it kind of has it pretty not stretched in the middle and then it exponentially stretches it as you get to the outside. And then linear where the like any lines that are vertical will be pretty much straight up and down. Looks better for like uh, filming buildings or in areas where there's lots of straight lines. But you know, it's up to you on how you want to do that. You can choose whether it's going to be 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 or 1 by 1, depending on what the of product is that you're trying to post it to and there's tons of other little things but all of the power of the Insta360 Go 2 and the Insta360 Studio is now available to you in the Caddx Peanut because it's literally the same thing just repackaged to be nicer for FPV. Simultaneously all of what happens here on the studio on your phone is available on the studio app on the computer which is what I generally tend to use just because I prefer to have all of those physical files that I'm working with and render them and then I'm sticking them in YouTube videos and all that stuff. So I wanted to take the chance to say thank you to everybody for watching this video on the Caddx Peanut. You know that I'm a huge fan of Insta360 and the Insta360 Go 2 especially for little micro drones like this. I am so stoked about what they've done with the Caddx Peanut. It's, you know, I, I was a little bit skeptical at first when I kind of th thought of the idea, but now that I've been playing with it and thinking about it for FPV and thinking about it for guy for people like us that want to have this camera but packaged for FPV, I think that there's a lot of opportunity in that they've added some nice little features like this, taken $60 off of the price and made it more accessible for everybody to get into HD flying on their uh, FPV drone. So really stoked about what the Caddx is doing with the peanut. I'm so glad that you guys were able to come check out this whole video. Thanks very much for watching. If you choose to purchase the Caddx peanut, please consider using an affiliate link in the description below. And if you want to check out any merch at store.merc.tv or any other kind of parts, the Flywoo Explorer, I'll have linked in the description. It would be a huge help to the channel so that I can keep making videos like these. Thanks very much for watching and stay flying.